the league was originally run by the Devon County FA and the disability officer at the time, David Carpenter, who is now the senior development officer, um, started up the league with two sides and we've developed from there. And as the years have progressed, as I said earlier, we've got more and more people involved, more and more clubs, more and more players, more and more youth, which is which is even better. So really, it's, it's it was started up by Di, and then the County FA ran the league for, I don't know, six, seven, eight years, and then they decided that they'd hand it over to ourselves to run as an independent from the County FA. Although we do get a lot of support, obviously, from Ashley, our current disability officer, and obviously Di at times, he, he gets involved, and he'd even come along the referee. So that's when it started it was a very very small seed that was sown at the time but as it's grown it's grown into a massive oak which oh. is great well what next for the future then the next 10 years the next 10 years well it would be nice really if we could have a thousand players wouldn't it but there are problems with that venues obviously one of the biggest things we found not only now we're independent from the FA, but we, what we found at the time is the funding you know a lot of clubs haven't got big bucks a lot of them are connected to mainstream football, but you know, most of their football is self-funded or by sponsors. So we have to be conscious of the cost to the clubs first and foremost. You know, and obviously we're looking for support as a league from sponsors, which is difficult to get, but we get by. We get by. You know, and what I would say is there is a great union amongst the coaches and obviously league, league officials. So we're lucky in some respect because our greatest asset. The yeah, as players, but the coaches for what they do. It's not just about football. They have to spend quality time with the players sometimes when they have various problems and that. And, and they're the ones that need to pat on the back, nobody else. So to them, I would say to you, thank you very much for all their help, which is key. Just how exciting is it? Now we're at the end oh, of the season. You don't get a break mate in football, you know what it's like. It keeps going. We've got our AGM on the 10th of June, which is coming up. Um, we start all over again then. Hopefully we'll have some new clubs coming, which is exciting. How many um, clubs and players do you see regularly on the on the, on the I travels? I guess we've got some in the region of 30 odd clubs. Um, that's with youth as well. Today, here, we've got someone in the region of probably about 420, 430 players. So you can see for yourself, it's growing all the time. Bearing in mind when we started off, we had two leagues. We're sort of about, I don't know, that's 150 players. And we progress from there, really. Just how important is it for these youngsters to be able to come out and play? I guess it's all about inclusion. Very much so. I mean, years ago, this league was known as the Disability League, which we've changed to ability because everybody has got ability in some way, shape or form. You know, being tarnished as disabled, as you know, many years ago, you know, you discriminate a little bit against. Whereas now, you know, we're up and running and everybody's given the opportunity, no matter what. No matter what, amputees, you know, we've got with cystic fibrosis, we've got, we've got people with Downs, autistic, right across the range, mental health, but they're all included within it. And the best thing about it is for a lot of them, it's an opportunity to get out and play sport, which is important, which is key this day and age. You get so many people sit at home on their computers, on their games, when you can get out, get some fresh air, play football, join in with your friends, what you have to remember is as well, they gain social skills as well. You know, there's a bond in between themselves and the other sides and they make friends for life, which is important, you know, because later on when the football finishes, they're still going to need friends and other things to do outside of it. So it's, it's important, very much so.